Well, the small door is mostly fixed. Um, didn't end up adjusting the tracks. Uh, it was kind of going to be a pain in the butt. So what I did is I tightened the cable on that side. If you remember, it was extremely loose. Well, now it's actually pretty good. This side is still a little bit more tight, but um, it's not. It's a little bit crooked, but not as bad as it was before. Um, however, oh, and I adjusted the down limit on this too to not close as far. Uh, just, here, I'll show you. Let's run this up. Gears grind, I have to lube them more. I've already put some grease on, but I need to do better. Um, yeah, I, after tightening the cable on the one side, it made that worse. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it'll come off, but, you know, it very well could. A lot of slack there. And see the new down limit. It was nice and soft on the floor. So, yeah, basically the whole story on how I said I would explain this uh, in the video. Basically, the whole story on how this door got screwed up. Um, we got new concrete poured here. They had to cut out that whole slab, and when they did that, this beam here dropped an inch, which made this whole track and everything drop an inch. So, that's what made this cable go slack for one, but again, I did tighten it. But, um, it, the door was just really crooked. This sensor even got knocked off. This bottom roller was almost out. I moved this track in and got that pretty good. The other thing is that, uh, you know, it's a little, it's not as tight on this side as it is down here. Uh, I can kind of, if I open the door a little bit by hand, I can kind of slide it back and forth. I mean, the balance of the door, actually, I haven't even checked the balance yet. Let me see. It's basically the same as it was before. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that that slack is just, I don't know. Like, do you guys think that's gonna come off? Or... Again, it doesn't look like it would, but I don't know. Something scraping. That top fixture there. Try. Uh, yeah, just you know, now shove that over a little bit. Uh, so anyway, shove the door over a little bit. You can see now there's more room here, so now it shouldn't scrape. Oh, never mind. It kind of shifts itself over this side, I guess. So that. I don't know. Rehook that. The 8550, it's basically the same as it was. Uh, although it does, uh, uh, that this concrete is up a little bit higher than the floor was. So it pushes up on the rail just a tiny bit, which it's not gonna hurt it at all. So we'll give this one just a quick run. Still loud as usual, of course. Springs on this still haven't broken. So springs have not broken yet. Um, you can see the limit with the way I have it now. If I pull down on this, it does bounce back from the inner trolley just a little bit, which, and now with the way that the small door is set, I think it does. Yeah, it jumps out a little bit too, but I've got this one actually set pretty good. Our first try too. Which, 
not sealed quite as well on the side there, but yeah. better for the opener. Well, mostly better for the opener because it puts a little bit more force on it when it opens then puts a little bit more stress on it. All right, we'll run this up. That extra noise you're hearing is coming from the belt squeal. I've lubed it, I've greased, put grease on it several times and it doesn't really help that much. Um, I, I gotta haul all this stuff back in and then I'll shut the 8550 one last time. And one last time, close the 8550. So those are the updates on my doors. Um, so time will tell. If the cable jumps off on the small door, I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I'm actually going to try adjusting the tracks or not, but this will do for the time being, so that's about it.